Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about The Wild Honeysuckle, written by Philip Freneau. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, The Wild Honeysuckle by Philip Freneau is a very interesting poem. It's a very uh, beautiful poem, and, and we can even say that uh, it it says a lot about romanticism, the the love of nature, and the messages and meanings that exist um, out of nature. Now, in the wild honeysuckle, Philip Freneau here is talking about this honeysuckle, this white flower that's secluded, that's on its own, that's beautiful, uh, that's just a wonderful thing to look at. Um, it's a thing that that's precious um, and and special. To the point where he's saying that, you know, there's nothing that can hurt it where it is. It has perfect sunlight, water. It has everything it needs to exist. Nothing can get in, into its way. Nothing can bother it. And um, then he comes up in, into these deep reflections about the, the wild honeysuckle. You know, after he tells us about the color of it, how it looks, how beautiful it is. Um, the details of it, and and we know throughout history, um, we know that flowers are always beautiful. Flowers are always special. Um, flowers always have different types of meanings. But you know, all over the world, human beings, we've always found flowers to be beautiful. So Philip Freneau here, he really looks into this and he really talks about it. But then he goes on in in in, in terms of deeper meaning, in terms of his own analysis. He starts to think about how the winter and the autumn is going to take this flower out, um, how its life is very brief and short, um, how he compares the life of this flower to an hour that is going to exist, it's going to be wonderful, it's going to be special, nobody's going to trample it um, for a time, but then it's going to die, it's going to wither away, uh, the brutal winter, the brutal frost, the you know, the, the horrible season is going to come in, the autumn is going to come in, the power of those seasons are going to come in, and they're going to kill the, the wild honeysuckle. And that's something, you know, in either deeper meaning, it has a lot to, to say about human life and our own existence. Uh, because in life, we always, you know, human life is not that long. It's quite brief. It's, it doesn't last that long. And, um, you know, Philip Freneau here, he's, he's actually really thinking about this because, well, I mean, that's that's human life, you know. Human life is filled with with grief, it's filled with sadness, it's filled with sorrow. There are high points, there are low points. And and that's the thing about Philip Freneau here. He he really truly makes us understand something about the human existence through this poem because, you know, humans we have our days where we're high and mighty, where we're big and brave, when we're tough and when, you know, everything makes sense and we're glorious. Um, and it's, that's in a, it's the same thing as this flower, but just like flowers, when, when we walk in our glory, when we bask in the sunlight and we, we walk in our primes and everything is wonderful and perfect, there is that comes a day, no matter how high you are, no matter how high you are on your high horse, there comes a day where everything comes to a halt, where um, you lose everything, your beauty, your fitness, your money, your wealth, your establishments. Um, and that's that's something that's essential to human life is that at some point in life we do lose all the things that we have collected, all the things that we have amassed, uh, and you die. You know, life is very brief. Most humans don't even make it to a hundred. Um, if we think about you know human history, most humans have died before the age of ninety, eighty even. I mean, it's it's still a miracle, a miracle if if you make it to seventy five years old because a lot of people die before even reaching that. Um, you know, a lot of people do make it to 100 or into their 80s or 90s, but, you know, we know this to be a fact because when you hear somebody dies within their 80s or 90s, you're not surprised. Um, you say that they lived a long life. If they told you a 77-year-old man died, I mean, you're sad, but you're not shocked. I mean, you know, from, from the age of 70 to, you know, 70 and up, if somebody dies, we're not terribly shocked we're kind of like well they weren't young you know where it's a tragedy if somebody dies in their teens and their 20s it's 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 horrific you know if you die in your 30s and 40s um you know in your 50s it's 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 devastating if you die in your 50s and 60s that's devastating but in your 70s it's it's sad 
I would say it's sad if you die in your in your seventies. But if you die in your eighties, most people will be like, "Well, you lived a long life. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a sad life. You 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 pretty much got to live a life. If you die in your eighties, it's more like you lived a long life, you know." So that's the thing about this 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 wild honeysuckle here. It's that it's life. It's finite. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's glorious for a time, just like humans. But at the same time, you know, we both flowers and both man, we do reach a point where we have to face our mortality, and everything comes to a grinding end. So, yeah, that's the poem. Yeah, that's the deep meaning of it. The the beauty of the flower. The the wonderfulness of the flower, the isolation of the flower, um, how all of its needs get met, um, how it's wonderful and everything. But ultimately, it has to face the winter. You know, winter is coming, the autumn is coming, and we all have to face the music that, well, life is finite and we all have to go one day or another. Yeah. So that's my summer analysis of this poem. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.